Are you sick of government lackeys who say you didn't build that? Are you tired of elitists who think you need a government permission slip for everything? Everything you do is an A to B conversation and the government should see their way out of it. Create true free markets by adopting the BIPCOT No Government License. The BIPCOT NoGov license allows user modification of any product, service, or software except by governments or government agents. Go to BIPCOT.org. That's Bravo, India, Papa, Charlie, Oscar, Tango.org. Hey guys, it's Jay Painter here at the uh, BJCC Legacy Arena Hall. We're uh, going to be asking some of the Trump supporters just uh, three simple questions. We're actually here with a, uh, a podcast called Seeds of Liberty. Yeah. Okay. It's a libertarian organization. Basically, we're just trying to spread some knowledge about freedom. You know? Yeah, yeah. I understand, man. Okay, so uh, the three questions uh, are, 60 years ago, General Patton said fixed fortifications <laughs> were monuments to man's stupidity. Yeah. Do you think the Mexican people are so stupid they can't figure out a wall? I do not. Okay. Okay. No, I don't. <laughs> if, by, if by the question you're asking, is the wall superfluous because there's ways to get around them, sure. yeah. um, I would say of course. Yeah. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't do whatever we can for border security. Sure. Okay. That's perfect. We, we should have all the arrows in our quiver. It would make it a lot more difficult for them. Right. And, and yeah. it depends on if there's a if there's a, an effective wall in place. Mm-hmm. Right. And enough people and resources were put in place to man and guard that wall, it would be a, at the very least we wouldn't have an open wall. Yeah. I think we stupid if we don't allow them to come in the right way. Other right. than Mexican people? Right. You think you think that the Mexican people can out scenario? Yeah. I think they I mean I yes. think they can get through border control somewhat well. I think right. it's gonna take a lot of stepping up the border uh, security right. in order to keep them away. And I think that's the okay. main issue. <laughs> I'll go ahead and say that. Now. Okay. So building a wall is not the answer. I don't think that would be a direct answer to it. Like, he has a he has, I can see where he's coming from with it. Sure. I'm not quite sure, but it's just a wall. question. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, no, you don't think the wall of Mexican or not a I don't think it'll be as effective for how much it's going to cost. Um, wow, no. I've all. No, I'm wearing a Trump shirt, but uh, the idea of a giant wall is ridiculous. Okay. I mean, it's just. It it's doesn't... not practical. No. No, I don't think so. Is it yes or no question? Could it be? I mean, I don't think they're so stupid they can't outsmart a wall, but okay. I believe that Donald Trump's going to build that wall. Right, it'll, it'll cost a lot. It, 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 he said $4 billion. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Um, quite, obviously, uh, uh, quite obviously, your question says um, what it's implying, which is that um, regardless of how many barriers you build, people are going to find a way to cross it, right? right. Look at the Berlin Wall. That's a that's the uh, that's the corollary that I always draw. You know, did um, did West did West Germany have to build? Uh, it wasn't West Germany that built a wall to keep the East Germans out. It was vice versa. Exactly. So basically, um, people vote. People are voting with their feet for the readiness of the American economy, right. and as well they should. Prior to the World War One, uh, there was no. Um, uh, there was an open border policy in this country with the exception of the Chinese Exclusion Act, which sure. permitted people to, uh, to vote with their feet and contribute to the greatness of the American economy in right. this country in general. So, so that's no, you don't think that... I think it's a terrible fucking idea. <laughs> Question, would you personally volunteer for a foreigner deportation coalition to round up any illegals in your city and transport them to deportation sites? I don't think I would personally do that, you but would. I think uh, that the authorities you know, the police and those who are in law enforcement. Right, but should, if, I mean, if that was the law of the land, then I think that that's what they could do. If they were criminals, yes. Yeah. If they were just here illegally, I'm not for it. I'm not, I'm not for just rounding up, you know, if, if they have a criminal background, yes, I'm for it. Okay. I personally wouldn't. Okay. Um, I would be willing to maybe support that depending on the that details of that okay but i might support something like that okay i don't so, think i would volunteer so uh, any other country would allow them to do that i love that I'm, no they would not have, you wouldn't volunteer for that no probably not myself no, not personally I would be willing to do it. No, i don't have i don't have to tell okay. 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 So, okay. so i don't have the conscience to do that okay absolutely i kind of believe that in all groups there are killers and murderers and rapists so 
We're gonna cook out, kick out one group because they have rapists and murders. I guess we kind of need to kick out everybody, don't we? Yeah, we have a lot of jail. Okay, yeah, we have a lot of people in jail. Yeah, we have a lot of people in jail. You would. Cool. You learn, you learn, would you like to elaborate? Uh, I was, I'm a battery. Okay. Uh, what did you say? A uh, faulty desert storm. Uh, you would. Uh, would I volunteer? Yeah. Anything? Would you volunteer? Oh, you you would? Yeah. To deport illegal? You know, you'd have to be armed, right? I'm most of the time armed anyway. Right. I have a permit here. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think the majority of the anti-immigration sentiment comes from the welfare state. Mm -hmm. If there was no welfare state, if there was no programs for them to come over here and get on, I don't think anyone would be against immigration. Yeah. Yeah, it, I mean, unless they were just a full outright racist, yeah, you know, yeah. like there's obviously people out there that are just yeah, like, yeah. like, I, you know, I, I only want this type of people yeah, around yeah. me. But I don't agree with that. So I, mean, I think we should have all nationalities here. I just think that they should come through the legal process to get here and be a citizen. Yeah, it, took, it took us uh, almost $13,000 to get my wife legalized as a citizen. Um, she's educated. She's got a degree. And the problem with a lot of people trying to do it the legal way is not only did you have to pay a lot of money, and you've mm -hmm. got to do it with American dollars. So a lot of people that save up money, uh, for instance, in pesos, that, that want to go do this process with American dollars, for one, that's a big jump. But we found that you almost have to get a lawyer. And when we were doing the paperwork and we'd get the lawyer and pay all this money, that we'd fill out all these required forms that when you send the, the papers in, you know how the government mm -hmm. does, before it ever gets to be seen, it's got to go through a bunch of different Processes. checks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it'll sit on somebody's desk and wait for a correction. Yeah. Ironically, a lot of uh, Mexicans are actually supposedly, I saw a couple headlines, they're actually going back to Mexico. Uh, Ironically, yeah. They're dealing with it, huh? Yeah, yeah. You, know, the country, you know, the country's not exactly heading in the best direction right now. I know. I, I agree. Sounds like the brown shirts. Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah, that's what, is that what he's like, uh, Trump's for? Is that like what he's supporting? Yes. Well, he mentioned Ike, you know, and uh, Ike's plan uh, yeah. about uh, Operation Wetback and about the need and possibility. Brandon, of get closer. Eisenhauer, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, Eisenhauer supported Operation Wetback? Yeah, he was the one that initiated that. That question is pretty simple. If you take 100% of someone's money, money right, and labor, and they call that slavery, at what percentage does that is that not slavery? That's a really good question. Um, right? at what, so at what percentage of taxes is it okay and it's not slavery? Really I, think, I think that's something that can be answered soon. I, I'm not sure what number that would be. Yeah. I, I mean, I, mean, you can, I think 50% is arguable. I mean, I I'm not sure. So if it's, if it's 50%, we say we can't do this as possible. I think, I think 50% is pushing you're working more for someone else than yourself. Plenty of I people think 50% are, is when they're not still on it. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. So what percentage would that be? I don't know, what are you talking about, taxes or something? Right, yeah, well, what percentage are you okay getting, getting stolen? Yeah. Um, well, I don't feel like it's stole from me. I feel like it's my civic duty to pay my taxes. So, you know, it, what, if it's 10%, if it's 15%, you know, whatever. It's, we live in such a great nation that, you know, whatever. Right. So, so what if it's like 100%? It's 100%, yeah. It, 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 absolutely. It's like, right? That's the big debate of our time, isn't it? If, if taxes become... I mean, that's a philosophical question. I can't give you a snippet answer. You know, the big challenge we have is what's the balance mm -hmm. between um, providing a benchmark through which no one will fall mm -hmm. um, and between uh, encouraging people to be less than they're capable of being. And that's, that's the big fight we're having right. now. That's the challenge and the debate. And so, there are some people that think if there is a need, it's the responsibility of the, of the government mm -hmm. to, to fill that need. And um, but that, that thinking comes with a price exactly. because I live in, um, in Prague mm -hmm. and when you see the, the post-communist countries dealing with their, the hangover of communism, um, it, it, what, it, what it creates is a citizenry who looks around and if they see a problem, they say, Someone else is going to fix it. Well, they say it's not my job, it's not my responsibility, or they may say, uh, I don't see the problem. Exactly. You know, they may be oblivious to the problem, mm -hmm. or they may think I'm not empowered to solve the problem, or they may think it's not my job. Yeah. One of those three. And I saw many examples of that. Okay. Um, so, so that to me is what, what the left doesn't understand mm -hmm. is through 
through compassion, they're killing people with compassion. Sure, and we sure. have to strike a balance. You should never steal anything from anyone. I'm not quite sure where your question is, but um, elaborate on your question. I mean, just think about sometimes when your money is taken from you, from, say, government or, you know, a politician. Well, there are legitimate, there are legitimate functions of government that we should all share in the cost. Exactly. Right? Sure. Uh, but where it becomes confiscatory is why we have elections, mm -hmm. to determine where that line is. And how that money is and spent. And how that money is spent. Right. And I think uh, most reasonable people would agree that spending is out of control now. Yeah. And so, you know, it's not sustainable. We have people who are very reckless in how they manage our overall corporate, our, our, our national debt is reflective of the mismanagement that's going on. Yeah. So, you know, I really think that, you know, that maybe some wiser people need to be in office. Right. You see, you understand the question, just I hear of the question, though, what, you know, at what percentage it, is it okay to take someone's money? It's never okay to take someone's money without due process. Okay. You know, if if, uh, if we're a democracy mm -hmm. and we vote to have a certain level of taxation to support government functions, of then of course that's the best not taking it. You know, I mean, it is taking it, but it, you know, you know, it, everybody needs to have skin in the game to live in our society, I agree. right? I, agree. I mean, it's, why is it free? Why mm -hmm. should it be free? It should. You know, so but. Again, the argument, the discussion should be at what level. Yeah. You know, at I what, mean, at what point? I don't think anybody. At what point are you okay with to having paying their fair share because we live in the greatest country in the world? I agree. Yeah. But where it becomes confiscatory, then that's a problem. Mm -hmm. You know, so hopefully that answers it. Well, let me just say it like this and make a long story short. If we don't go back to what this country was found on and allow every individual to come through here the right way. Mm -hmm. We ain't doing them, we're putting the country back in years of slavery. Mm -hmm. I completely agree. So I say, let's make America great again. Mm -hmm. let's, let's, let's stick to the rules. Honestly, technically, technically it would be 99%. Simply because it wouldn't be slavery, they would be paying you. It would be manual labor, and it would be an awful job, but 1% 1% would be not slavery. Okay, man. I mean, technically still, you know, yeah. Slavery. There's one correct answer. Yeah, really. There you when, go. When you, First when correct answer yeah. today. When are you really not a slave if they're taking something from you if you don't have control over it? <laughs> like, honestly. Yeah. That's yeah. how I feel. Cool. So That's it, perfect. That's so perfect. How, how else can government be funded without taxation? You know, it's hard to say. I really, I don't have the answer for it either, honestly. Thank you so much. I have to, I have to sit down and think, well, that's a really good question. Yeah. You're, like, you, you're like all in for Trump, right? Yeah, I'm in for it. You think, you think he can, like, he's going to do it? <sighs> You think he I think it? he's definitely gonna try. Do you, no. think, do you think Hillary's gonna edge him out? <laughs> I think it's. Oh no, I don't know if Hillary's gonna, do it, was gonna edge him out, but I think he'll probably get in there and not be able to do everything he's thinking to try to do. Cause well, that's just politics. That's just, yeah, exactly. The you name can of say the what game. you're gonna do, but you can never go in there and do exactly what you say you're gonna do. Money taken. Oh man. Having the money. Taken. That is that's tough. Um. Hey, what would be your preferred tax rate if you had to impose one on yourself? <laughs> I mean, if I had to... Would it be zero? I, under, no, I, I understand the point of taxes. I understand them. What point is that? Well, okay, what they're intended to you uh, to help us. It's supposed to go back to us. We're supposed to rebuild the roads, you know... Ifs and buts for candy and nuts. Exactly. Uh, so, I guess so, so in the, this government, in the, in, in, the reality, in the real world, I'd say... You know, your you money know, is taken and it's not always used for things that, you know, really help people. Yeah, it, it's, you know, it goes to bombs say, and say, uh, abortions and all kinds of other stuff. of your money gets taken, that's okay. And that's not called slavery. God, you're killing me on this one. Well, it not I think I'm slave now. I'm a small business owner. They're okay. killing me. Okay. You really expect? I mean, they're just killing me. I mean, three licenses, three insurances. I mean, it's just a tumble. You as a veteran have a very, very odd position because you, you got you're sworn to protect your life, protect the people here. You know, like 
at what point, at what point does does what's happening to us, the money that's taken from us because slavery, and what point are you okay stepping in and saying, look, I'm going to protect the American people at all costs. You know, I've my job for so long. Like, I'll have a duty to do that. You know, like, once you sworn in as a soldier, you know, not. I don't since time, 10%. Okay. I'll give 10% to the government, give 10% to God. You know? Okay. That's a fair answer. That's awesome. The quarter that they're taking from me and everything I make is just killing me. Okay. Every hundred dollars I make, I get 25 of them. Well, the government takes a lot right now. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So we all basically be doing some do things like that. Right. I mean, that, so it's small business. They take oh, yeah. or upwards. I'm a small, small business owner myself. Yeah. 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 They yeah. take twenty four percent upwards. Sure. So you could say enslaved. I, I'm enslaved. Right. Absolutely. What do you think? At what percentage is it okay for them to take your time and money, labor, effort? You know? I think ten percent. Right. Ten percent. So you're like you're like a tithe. You're, you're, you're I mean, okay with like a tithe. Tag. You want to put me like. Ties, Ben well, Carson thing. And, yeah. Sure, I mean, well, I that's mean, just it's, a, it's, what he it's says. a term yeah. everyone yeah. is comfortable with. It is yeah. 10%. I mean, I, I'm comfortable with 10%. Okay. I, mean, I, I think at some point, I mean, if everybody just didn't pay any tax whatsoever. Well, you're, you're thinking about it in terms of Hayek and people like that. So, uh, generally, uh, I would say that um, basically, uh, anytime you penalize somebody for their material success, um, you uh, you embark down the road to serve them. So, in a sense, what uh, you need to uh, policymakers need to adhere to what's called the Laffer curve, which basically sets an ideal tax rate uh, such that you um, you don't if you don't cross the uh, peak in the curve, uh, you don't get dimin a diminished tax um, uh, base. Okay. You know what I mean? So basically, the more you tax people, uh, you know, ahead of the Laffer curve. So for example, if you tax them uh, above what actually Obama, one of Obama's economic advisors, is called uh, it was like 33 percent. Um, you actually get to begin to diminish your tax base overall. So I mean, it's, it's sort of, it's sort of, and so yeah, I mean, this is, and this was one of Obama's economic advisors, I believe, at Stanford University. Right. Uh, please do fact check me. Yeah. But the point is, um, you know, once you begin to overtax the population, you begin to diminish um, their productivity and the return um, of government return on that government revenue. Right, right, right. So what per, what percentage is slavery? And what percentage uh, well, does, when you work, what like at what percentage are you a slave? Are you okay with being a slave? Uh, I don't think anybody's okay with being a slave. Uh, quite obviously, we fought a war to abolish the institution of slavery. So right. I, I, don't, mm. I can't really pinpoint a percentage because I think... Philosophically zero, I guess. Uh, so. Philosophically zero, but obviously you need to have uh, a taxation in order to fund public infrastructure. For watching, guys, this is Jay Painter with Seeds of Liberty. I hope that y'all enjoyed all the questions that were answered. Um, hopefully we educated some people. Please like, share, follow, do whatever you can to get the message out. Great job. Have a great day.